It has been more than one year since the MEP elections, and a lot has happened since. The Greek situation has been at the forefront. The election in the UK highlighted the need to redefine its relationship with Europe, with the very real possibility that it might leave the EU. Meanwhile, weak and uncoordinated European response to the migration conflict has turned the Mediterranean into a graveyard. Ever since you have put your trust in me, electing me for the second time as one of the six MEPs, I have been working hard to ensure that Malta has a voice in the European Parliament on important issues such as migration, consumer protection, developing opportunities for SMEs, job creation, animal welfare, the Ebola outbreak, the Greek crisis, TTIP, energy security, tourism, amongst many others. Each committee that I am working in gives me a particular satisfaction as each and every committee makes an impact on the well-being of our citizens. As a vice chair of the Petitions Committee, the committee that is the bridge between the EU citizens and the EU institutions, I was appointed as the SND Rapporteur and spokesman on various reports and opinions, such as the annual activities of the European Ombudsman, providing recommendations to improve citizens' trust in the EU civil service, the revision of the European Citizens' Initiative, modifying it so that it empowers citizens and their right to influence legislation. The situation in the Mediterranean, of course, and the need for a holistic EU approach to migration, providing a strategic recommendations to the Member States and to the European Commission, where I continuously insist that we need actions, not buzzwords. As a member of the Internal Market and Consumer Protection Committee, the committee that works to reduce barriers to economic trade and simplify legislation to enhance competitiveness across the single market while protecting the consumer, I played a major role in the negotiations on the EU telecoms package, where it had been agreed to abolish roaming charges by June 2017. The Culture and Education Committee is also a committee which I have at heart as this is the committee we discuss various topics that are extremely important for our modern society and in particular for our youth. I was shadow rapporteur on a very important opinion called creating a competitive EU labour market for the 21st century, matching skills and qualifications with demand and job opportunities. And it was indeed very satisfying to see the positive result as I have made valid recommendations focusing on young people and their transition from education to the labour market, on early school leavers and people with no academic qualifications. In this committee, CALT, I have also been appointed as an SND reporter on a report on the sexual abuse and sexual exploitation of children and non-child pornography. This topic is very dear to me. Many children are being violated and denied human fundamental human rights, subjected to killings, trafficking, sexual abuses and exploitation at this very moment while you are watching this video. Children are precious. They are the pillars of our society and we need to ensure that our children live in a safe environment where they can enjoy their childhood without the horrors of sexual exploitation. This is only a short review of this past year. I have worked hard as your MEP, but after all, that is my duty. I look forward to the summer recess so that come September, I would have charged my batteries to continue working in the interest of the European citizens, particularly in the interest of Malta and Gozo.